Hello, everyone. And welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. So in last week's episode, I did literally not even one ending, basically two half endings, but I didn't really get to explore this game too much. So now we're going to actually go back into the game, try to find some new endings, and this is definitely going to be longer of a video. I have no idea how much this video is going to be edited or anything, but we'll just see as we go. And I just wanted to start recording right here because the game is appreciating me for setting up the the clock both times I've booted up the game so I've never seen that before or anything so thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game yeah no problem a lot of people don't take that step seriously they just leave the clock set at 12 o'clock and call it a day yeah so I actually set the clock to 10 4 p.m. because it is 10 4 p.m. 10 5 now also I have a Red Bull and yes it is 10 4 p.m. 10 5 why the hell do I have a Red Bull at 10 5 p.m. I have no freaking clue I'm not going to freaking sleep tonight, and tomorrow's a school day as well. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much, game. That's how I know that you care about this experience, yes, and you're paying attention, I am. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Well, well they are. I mean, you have this video as proof. Not really. You watching this actually technically don't have proof that it's 10.06 p.m. right now. You technically don't have proof of that. Unless I show you my phone or something, but nah. Just take my word for it. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time, okay? Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. Thank you, I will definitely do that. I'm setting it to 420. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. All right, sure. So let's get, get I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Let's get back in to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. So let's begin the game. Now, I've actually recently been watching gameplays of the Stanley Parable original videos from like 2013, okay? So no new content, right? I'm not trying to spoil this stuff, you know, uh, let's skip this. I'm not trying to spoil any of the content, I actually do want to see the new content on my own, but I was re-watching some of like, you know, the older Stanley Parable stuff from like 2013. Just, you know, videos of the old game and stuff. So there's this, this ending that I literally what just didn't mean? know about. Stanley you can literally walk meeting. out of this Perhaps window. Let's see if this works. I don't think I ever tried the no, setting no, on my own, but I just saw this in a video. And I'm talking over you, narrator. I'm sorry. Oh, can you not do it anymore? You used to be able to... Or, oh, can you? Oh, oh, wait, sort of. You, you have to go up on this chair. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I guess you sort of can. Come on. You have to get, get up over this monitor, too? You can go out this window, literally. I saw... That. Oh, 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 can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. Oh, the office is over there. At first, Stan okay. assumed he'd broken the map. No. Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Yes, it is. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure. Indeed, because all games are broken like this, but this is not. This is intentional. Tropes. So, yes. now that you're here, what do you think? I think this Isn't is great. This a fun and unique place to be? Oh, absolutely. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Yes, literally. Okay, I'm over it now. Yeah, me too. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Mm, a little bit. No, no, no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. What? No! But now, here comes the real question. Okay. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Yeah, I think you would have reset would the game. Have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer. Perhaps you never would even have thought of it. Yeah, I, I would. Brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, I can just reset the game and press it. yes. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back? Yeah, here just to do the sure. other option. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. It does. What if the other option is even longer? Could be. How long would you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, Probably a while. Mr. Rich, perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in. Oh, this it, no, game. no. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better well, one? Well, I don't know yet. Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, mm -hmm. you are one of the lucky ones. I'm lucky, Though, okay. If the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm not. I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Oh, uh, okay. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking. Been talking a and while. You to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. 
Okay, thanks. That was very insightful, narrator. So, what if I press yes just right here? Is that just not going to do anything? Yeah, it's just not going to do anything. There's just going to be giant yes on my screen. Okay, so I'm actually just going to restart the game and press yes and see if anything different happens. Because I don't know what happens when you press yes. Alright, so let's go back out and press yes. All of this code and, you know, I don't know if I'm going to edit this mean? video or not. So if I don't edit this video, you're going to have to sit through me memo. trying to get back no up onto this desk. You're going to have to watch me drinking the Red Bull, you know. Workers. Although, realistically, I am going to at least semi-edit this video. Oh, that was actually really quick. Alright, let's press yes this time. Where's the office? The office is right there. First, so, this is the little area that we're in. This is a pretty enclosed area, honestly. There's, like, nothing much right here. Uh, I'm kind of he disoriented. So, if I turn around like this, I think this is where the yes-no is going to be. And its examination of structural narrative Come on, I want to press yes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and yes. unique place yes. to Yes, yes, I'm going to press yes. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Yeah. Okay, I'm over it now. All right. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old True, time but I wanted want. to see what right, yes did. Right now. No. You could have done it just then. Not doing it. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Yeah, it would be, but I'm not doing these it. points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. Yeah. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on oh your God, own This game gets like so... I don't know how to explain it. Ph so philosophical almost. The envelope, I'm going to try and make this as like, miserable as You could have done this here. And like, how long you can maintain. Is this good, like the broom closet? Like I'm just going to have to sit here. There once was a man named Stanley. Who this is a song? Considered so manly. But the truth must be told... He was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful This is way. part of the original game, by the way. Like, this is not even Ultra Deluxe content. I've literally just never seen this. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. Indeed. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. I'll be quite unbearable, okay? You too will become quite unbearable. Sure. Bravo to the narrator there. That was a great little song. Is this just gonna be this guitar now, or are you gonna keep going with the song? Maybe I'll just be sitting here for eternity with the song going on. Maybe. Also, I'm like super stuffy right now just because of allergies. I spent way too much time outside today, which makes perfect sense when it's the end of May when my allergies are at an absolute peak. Yeah, spend a lot of time outside. And, do, and I didn't take any allergy medication at all today. That's a great idea by me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Not taking allergy medication, spending a lot of time outside when my allergies are at an all-time high, drinking a Red Bull at 10.13 p.m. on a school night. What the hell am I doing today? I'm making all these terrible decisions in real life. Not only in real life, but in this game too how about that all right i think i'm actually just gonna restart because i feel like it's just gonna play this guitar and do nothing it's probably like the broom closet ending so i'm gonna begin the game again i don't know if that was technically considered an ending also talking about new content in this All game this obviously well not obviously you might not have even seen the last episode but i found out that the executive bathroom is now actually accessible and there's an elevator once again i didn't look at any actual gameplay of the new stanley parable you know the ultra deluxe edition but i really don't know what to expect for most of it but i've seen a lot of comments saying that like it was really worth it to buy the Ultra Deluxe Edition, so there is a lot of nice new content. But I was sort of spoiled, spoiled on one thing. There's some type of Elden Ring style jump thing. Like, that's all I know. STP told me about that. He sent me like a little video doing a glitch through it or something. No idea how to get there, what it is or anything, but I don't know. So I guess we'll just search for new content, essentially. So, doors, which way should we doors, go? He entered the door mm. on his left. We'll follow your directions. Maybe I'll actually go downstairs. So we'll go towards the boss's office. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, well, I can actually just make that door on the left anyway. 
I can pass yeah, here and then I can go on the door on the left. I want to go downstairs instead of upstairs to the boss's office. I'm going to go downstairs because I'm pretty sure Stanley's going to go on some sort of identity crisis and going to think. Wait a minute. Walk straight ahead to the opposite. Was this here? And got back on track. I don't think this elevator existed before, or maybe it did. Let's try it. <laughs> I swear I've never seen this elevator here before. But then again, I haven't really played the Stanley Parable in a good few years. Well, actually, I played it last year. <laughs> I played it last week. But I mean, he wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yeah, I, I don't so remember this. To get back, he needed to go. Um, uh, Narrator's confused. From here, it's um left. Oh, but I can't even go to the right. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no, it's to the right. My mistake. Oh wait, no, I think I am sort of remembering this. Maybe this is a new content. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Well, it's not the left. What? It's through scary. one of these doors, right? Oh dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Okay, come on. Rustling papers. Uh, just see. drink it all down, in. Right, left, down, left, right. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this okay, this isn't okay, the original yes. game, but at least it's an I've ending. Got it now. This story is absolutely definitely okay through one of these garage doors. Yeah, so I don't think this is the identity crisis thing, but I don't know. I don't remember what happens here, but I am very vaguely remembering this ending. But I don't remember what happens. Wait, is that the mind control room? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not yeah. supposed to be here yet. Yeah, it's supposed to come from down there. Look, Stanley, close your eyes. Oh, let's okay, close my okay, eyes. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh. My eyes are actually closed. I don't know if we're still it's in the rubbish. room or not, or if something's going on on the screen. Let me just open them. Oh, we're still in the room. Okay. Rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, okay. Suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay. From the top. Okay, fine. So let's actually go back on track and do what I said before and just go downstairs because I'm pretty sure that wasn't the original Stanley game. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Door on the left it is. Right, let's go to the door. When Stanley... Wait. <laughs> wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted. Wait a minute. This is the like confusion ending, thing. I think it is. Be... Oh, this is really long and convoluted. Okay. Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Didn't change Did anything. My eyes were closed, in fact. Or... You saw that. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Exactly. It was right here just a minute ago. This I is the thing with sure the adventure line somewhere. and everything. Yeah, okay, yeah. Then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Now, this right here, this really reminds me of, like, the back rooms, honestly. And this is way ahead of its time as well, considering this came out in 2013 as well. Like, this is definitely way before the time of the back rooms, and this really does remind me of the back rooms, so that's a nice touch. I feel like the Stanley Parable is actually one of the reasons why a lot of people, you know, feel that, um nostalgic sense type of thing with, you know, liminal spaces in the back rooms and stuff because this office fits that vibe of the back rooms. Like, you know, old 70s office building this is the really worst freaking well. I've ever been on. I can promise yes. you they're definitely Especially considering this is like the back rooms here. We're literally like we're wandering through the back rooms right here. Like the hallways make no sense. Everything leads back to each other. That, this is This looks exactly like the back rooms here with these like random like corridors over here. Okay, and we're restarting. Of course we are. And my headphones keep falling off my head for some reason as well. Okay, we're back here. I know we're going to go back to that room and everything is going to be super confusing. And if I really Stanley wanted to, to I could to actually room. press restart Perhaps and get out of this really long memory. convoluted cycle. I have the power to do that. Or do I? See, that's where this game gets philosophical. Now we got okay, nothing. Yep, it's yeah, worse. definitely. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came Back from. where we came from. Now, this is going to open, which is something that usually doesn't happen anything. here in the Stanley Parable. Yes. All right. So, we're going to go back. Go back. Aha. Yeah. I knew we'd miss something. <laughs> sure. The sure. Story. Here it comes. This is going to be nothing, right? It's just gonna, I'm just going to go in circles. Of no, course wait, I am. Never oh. mind. Not the story. Yeah, not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. This is going to take me to some attic thing. Yeah, now this. this well, I don't know what the hell this is. At all. Is this the story? Doesn't look like it. So. Yeah. 
I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It's definitely not an office building. Is that correct? Yep. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? Yes. What do you know Office what? building. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay, I won! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really Absolutely. Off, so good job. Thank you. Oh, no. Aw. I don't feel right about this at all. Aw. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Oh, I did. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those I situations. win fair and square by just following your directions, my guy. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Yeah, me too. What might happen this time, I have to restart. Restart. That's fine. There's the adventure right. line. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Trademark. Just That's important. Trademark. How simple is that? Yes, follow the line. And look at this. We're granted access to this area right here. This industrial area over here. Past Office 425. Now we can go over here through all this over you here. See, the line knows where the story is. Yes. It's over in this direction. It is. Onward, Stanley. To destiny. We're going through new places in the Move office here. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination? Oh, here the stick. Wait, no can I? Nah. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still Isn't the story? boss's office in here, or one Simply of these floors, or maybe it's just another forward, stairwell? Probably. Implying a journey such that a destination oh, 11. is okay. conjured into being Jeez. by the very this goes all over the place the here. of life itself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Okay. That got a bit weird back there. Yeah. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Okay, you know we're back to normal. Not really. Need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yeah, this music. Yes, this is room 006 as well. So we're getting to the beginning of the office here. Oh, this music. B3. I should really be enjoying this music more, but now nah, I'm just following the line here. Let's just follow the line exactly. I know I definitely don't have to, but yeah, up here, yeah. Employee 432 peer reviews. I don't know why you have such a massive block there. We got employee, oh, even more peer reviews in there. I want to go in here, but okay. Financial records. Why am I more concerned about what's in the office than the music? We just had this music going on like all the Cut time. The music, Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Yes. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Okay. Make sure you study it closely okay. and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Yeah, okay, got it. Sure. Didn't miss anything. I have picture perfect memory. I know I'll know exactly how this fern looks like. Alright, onward with the adventure line. Where's the music, though? And we're Wait, back in the office, right? We're back at the office? Yeah. No. no, no oh, well, well, at least line. we can go over here, too. This is still new territory. Parable, right? The line Story? trademark, yes. Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, back no, here. No, no, no. Yay. No, not again, line. How could you have done this to us? Line after trademark. After we trusted you. After everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To oh, hell fired. Like Employee restart. fired down there. Restart. Restart. Keep following the line. You know what, Stanley? Oh. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Yeah, exactly. We're intelligent people, right? Right. Why can't we make up our own story? Right. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in well, I don't know. How about this direction? Alright, sorry about that. Let's continue in this direction. This is just going to be now, another backroom yes, style thing, right? Is Very exciting. Just and look, there's no furniture in this hallway. I swear, this is the back story. rooms. Well, this is literally the back rooms, is it not? Literally. Be. Go wild. Use your imagination. Yeah, this is the back rooms. That's my imagination. Oh, of course, it's gonna be. It's gonna be this, right? We're just gonna keep going around here, and it's gonna be nothing, right? Oh, this is something. Okay. I'm not sure that's how hallways work, but okay. That's fine. It's a story. What the heck? Oh, there, here, here comes the line. Stanley, I don't line trademark. Sorry. Line from having any role in our awesome new story. Yeah, let's just ignore it. No lines or monitor rules. Line trademark. Don't yes. acknowledge it. We should be fine. It's a trademark. They're really taking copyright and trademarks and stuff seriously. Oh, there it goes. All right. Yes, ah, the circular room. 
This, I'm pretty sure this is close to the ending. I think here he's gonna, there's gonna be like a screen. From what I remember, there's gonna be like a screen, like saying what the different endings are, what the plan is. This is all planned. Walking circles for a minute. Nah, I'm just gonna jerk my red ball. I'm not walking this. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that. By the way, he has flawless logic here. Listen to it. To go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Yes, that's the flawless the logic, logic here. Comes Definitely a victory for logic destiny. here. Because oh, the wait. right door, the direction, the right door... Is the right, as in correct, door. Flawless logic, literally. Alright, so we go in here. Oh, oh well, both of these doors lead to the same place. Hmm. Okay. The, the confusion, confusion ending. Me. Yes. You're telling me that's what this is? Yep. It's all one See, look at this. Like, first ending. restart, second restart, third restart, restart, restart eight, adventure eight line, times? nonsense, philosophy, and music. You see, really this is all planned all out games? here. It's all... Determined. I've been playing for 17 minutes. So now, according to I think that's actually true because I've been recording again. for 21. You know, so the other few minutes I've been doing this were spent with the the window ending. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing. Wall. This thing trademark. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Well, I you're just like Stanley. Stanley this. doesn't get to Simply, decide. You don't get to decide. This game goes don't really freaking deep don't into philosophy. I don't want the game so, to who knows who gets to decide to anymore? What's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. Well, guess what? Sixth restart. The game restarts on its own. So guess what's gonna happen? And the timer to stopped. Okay, timer's gonna stop. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, but look at this. It is Unable to go anywhere or do How anything. So... Will someone th that is sort of going according to plan, isn't happen? it? The game so, is going to restart on his own. He's going to be talking and the game's going to restart. <sighs> Sigh. I guess now we just wait. You know? Yeah. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Mm, I guess. Sure if we're in the I mean, the adventure line and everything, yeah. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So here's the philosophy again. Right now, we'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... there goes the game restarting on its own. So that was the confusion ending. I don't know. And also, by the way, some endings have consequences that will gone. impact what other mean? endings. Stand For example, I mean, I think the Perhaps confusion ending is the biggest Nemo. example of that. But because we finished the confusion ending, I'm not sure if anything else is different. Like, the room might ha not have any doors or something like that. Like, how it was, like, before. So, it, hopefully, what I said there makes sense. Some endings will have consequences. Even on other endings, doors, like, in addition the door to the... Left. I'm, I'm a little brain dead. I'm sorry. Just disregard what the hell I'm saying. Okay, what should we do? Door on the left. Let's just, let's just go downstairs. As I've been saying, basically, 50 minutes ago. Let's go downstairs. This is the meeting room, right? Okay, we're going in the right yeah, direction. Yes. Oh, also the broom closet. We should do the broom closet at some point. Not, not going to do it now. To go up. Stanley stepped into the broom closet. But there yeah, was I'm not doing the broom closet ending so right now, but we'll, 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 we'll do that later. Track. Later. I don't know when later is, but Stanley whatever. Walked upstairs to his no, office. I did not, but I can't go in that door. So we're going to go down here, and now Stanley's going to have the identity crisis. And there's a car over here. Wasn't there a... He considered the possibility of facing Wasn't the there a car in the other ending as well? Or am I just going crazy? Or at least some type of truck, vehicle? How do you even get anything like this economy, down here? This is a basement. How do you drive that in here? All because Literally. He through here? Everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Yeah. Something occurred to One, two, B, and four. Himself, maybe I am okay. Crazy. All of my co-workers blinking... Oh, an elevator. Out of oh, imagine if this was the elevator, the new elevator. Oh, and a vending machine. Can I use this? There's basically like a vending machine in this type of location, but like at my school. It's literally like under the gym in like a hallway no one goes in. No one knows about it as well. I, I don't know why the hell you would even care about this. 
but it's like and the the that, machine is almost like never disabled but the the main ones that everyone uses in the cafeteria are disabled during fourth and fifth period because that makes perfect sense those are two lunch periods so uh yeah this is this is basically like a random vending machine that no one knows about in a basement similar to the setup in my school and i like how you have to listen to me talking about vending machines as opposed to the story and the narrator that's how great i am with staying on task anyway let's just recap what the narrator said something about being in a dream stanley thinks he's crazy and he's about to go on an identity crisis that's all you need to know wasn't crazy after all not crazy okay by the way yeah i think you you get what's happening here we're back with one two b and four and guess what we're gonna keep going in circles here's the elevator here's the vending machine and here is the car once again going around here is oh this is new what the heck starfield and it too appeared. It was so okay. much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not. Oh, out. I think I'm in a dream he here. Okay, here's the vending machine. Lucid. And then perhaps. Yeah, this is just a lucid dream. That's what this is. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? Exactly. That's a, that's a good that point. And thinking. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Again, with the philosophy, odd, I'm just going to keep walking. To all people in their dreams, the truth was Car, the 11, 12, 1, 2, B, 4. Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Vending, Believing vending machine Jesus soon. Doesn't have to take Copy machine and stuff. Him. Elevator, Stanley vending machine. Is awake right now, as he's ever been in his life. B, 1, 2, 4. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock. Well, not B124. Oh, but I can't all, go back. Ah. Knew for certain, but I can just make another loop and go back there. Dream. Did the voice so these doors all shut behind magical me. Stars just a moment there we go. One, two, B4. Explain all that. This voice was a part of wait a minute, wait a minute. Is the B4 supposed to be like before? Like a play on that? He would prove that he was in control. Again, with this game being about like, are you really in control? You know, stuff like that. eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. Okay. He felt I'm not gonna be sleeping tonight because of this, so you know, at least simulate it with Stanley. Back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Yeah. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I don't know how easy it is to wake yourself up from a lucid dream. To be fair, I Let me go sort of my lucid dream sometimes, but when I do, I don't think of anything crazy, nor yes. do I really care about waking it's all up. I want. I'm I just like, oh, cool, I'm, I'm lucid dreaming. And my wife, and my job. Okay, with the philosophy here. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Yes. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Philosophy here, way too deep. Not really deep, but you know what I mean. I just went downstairs to my boss's office Stanley here. Again, screaming. Screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Okay, Stanley. now he's having the crisis. I have a boss, okay. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. Oh, I must be. Can anyone I remember this being so intense. Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Don't remember the sending being that intense. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Uh-huh. Who wanted mod and was Mariela willing to pay me five hundred dollars? Any other, she arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. And that's Stanley on the floor. On the day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who yeah. had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. So the and one, two, B, four clocks and the car and stuff, and the vending machine. None of that few real. Brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Sure. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Yes. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Yeah. I am sane. I am in control. Stanley definitely mind. isn't. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. Wait a minute, could this be alluding to like Stanley being on like drugs better. or something? Oh my god. Now I'm, go now I'm going I'm too deep as well. For that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had now you're going too this. deep. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. 
Might want to call 911 or something. Just, just keep going? Okay, just keep going. Sure. And we're back! Okay, I have no idea what ending I should do next. I still Stanley don't know where this new content is. I want to see that, that, that jump ring thing, whatever. I want to see that. Himself, and constantly oh? needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. This dialogue right here was from, like, the very original... I literally just, like, a few hours ago saw a video on that. This was, like, the literal first version of the Stanley Parable. And it was, like, a mod of some other game or something like that. And that was... Like, it was, like, totally different than what it is now, but, like, I remember that exact dialogue, like, about, about Total Solitude and stuff. That's literally the OG dialogue to the game. And I literally just happened to see a video on that today. New content! <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> Let's just go through oh, this door. New content? Yeah. What does that mean, new content? The narrator sounds different, too. So this must actually be new content, yay! The heck is this? Why do I need this thing to- oh. Okay. This is new content, yes, we're 31 minutes into this episode and now we're getting Hello, new content. and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. No problem. 2013. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Indeed it was. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a yes. reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Right, it's on console too, I forgot about that. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that brought like the executive bathroom the world of the Stanley Parable delighting audiences the world over yes yes especially with the executive bathroom Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable ultra deluxe I can't wait well this sounds delightful yeah I'm very excited to see the thrilling new ultra deluxe content me too me too. Oh my god. Can I go in any of this or anything now? Let's actually just step in this elevator. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but right. I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Yep, me too. I have hope. So does the narrator. He stuck around for these... Um, nine years? I can't do math. Nine years. What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or... Oh, 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 sort of. There, we, there go. we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. Yes. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Neither have I, narrator. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Mostly it's tedious. Different... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. This is a brick wall. Oh, this side. All right. This is the jump thing. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Yeah. I, I think this is some reference to like Elden Ring or like the Dark Souls games. I think. I could be totally wrong, but I think. Ah, but you can finally jump though. <laughs> can I jump outside of here? Oh, no, I can't. I kind of wish you could just jump normally in the Stanley Parable. 19, 18, okay. Now, STP showed me a glitch where you can keep jumping, like, forever, basically. I think that's what it was. I'll have to, like, ask him more about it or something like after, because now I actually know this new content. But when he was explaining it to me before, you know, I didn't look at any gameplay videos or anything. Okay, I know you don't care. Let's just go. Okay. Jumps remaining, zero. Okay. Let, let, let's just go is, over here. Is that it? Exactly. Surely that's not all the new content. There has yeah. to be something else, right? Yeah, I, I paid like 20 bucks for this game. Well, actually not 20 bucks. Maybe like eh, like 16 or something like that. How do I not know how much I spent on this game? Well, because I had the Stanley Parable, I got a discount on this game. And that discount is only available for two weeks. So it's technically still on right now. But if you're watching this in the future, then obviously it's probably not still on even that if you're watching this in the future i don't know why you would even stanley, buy the say, old stanley parable just buy the ultra deluxe edition are not positive it's just mm -hmm. elevators and jumping 
Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yeah, if this is exactly. New content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's yeah. 30 hours of new content right there. Probably yeah, more. I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that's that on the probably, post. That's probably... The Stanley <laughs> that's like Parable days. Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Okay. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. This is a weird setup, but okay. Thank you for enjoying the... Really? That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fans are self-aware to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me this and like the exploiting the game mechanics, like with the, the window. Fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. Wait, 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 wait. Where the hell are the achievements? I think you have to turn on achievements, actually. Or something like that. I think there used to be something that literally says show achievements. Either that or I'm literally just missing it right now. Video. Controls. Okay, I might just be a little bit of an idiot right here. Maybe. Probably just being an idiot. Okay, that's what fine. Quality Assurance Department signed off on this. <coughs> I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. It's not your I fault, too narrator. Too much anticipation around the new content. I'm afraid it could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? No, I'm not resetting anything. You reset if you want. I'm not resetting really anything. About. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you yes. say, friend? Well, I don't know. I I, I wanna see I wanna see new content. Ah. Well, I guess that was all the new content. What on earth? Oh my god. See, this is kind of what I was talking about, about, you know, endings having different consequences here. What the hell is this? Can I go in this office here? No. What does this cup say? I hate Mondays. They have the same mugs in the new edition as well. And here, no. This is the uh, the original office. Eh, I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> this is my first time not seeing it, so I don't know why I miss it. Psst. Stanley, come yeah. over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Do I go in the? Let, let's go. Let's go. How do I crouch? Oh, oh my God. Okay, control. New gameplay mechanics here. Couldn't crouch before. That's just a vent. Or a fan, rather. Come on, load. I don't know how much I'm going to be editing this video. Okay, there you go. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got yes. me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Uh-huh, So I what? made something special, and tucked it away what? here where the game's developers won't find it. Just This is the secret. Elden Ring thing, it's okay. Right. Oh my god. It the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Okay. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. The memory zone. Now, I didn't actually get the Stanley Parable in 2013, but like... the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember yeah. back in October of 2013 when the game I, I got the game in like 2015, then, but like video games close had enough. integrity. Back yeah. then it all meant good something. times. Oh the waste. Oh my god. Yeah, and all all the endings and everything, the doors, the oh my god. The original, yeah. The launch. Oh, we got Windows 7 over here and everything. Ah oh, yeah. What's in here? Unachievable, it's impossible to get this achievement. Go outside, smile because it happened. Memory lane, a, a dollar bill that's great. The Stanley Parable Alpha Test. 
God, they got a whole, like, museum here of everything. Nominee British Academy Award. Okay, the Stanley Parable is more highly praised than I thought. New video game releasing today in the New York Times? Bro, are these just edits or are these, like, actual real, like, like, this, what is this, Academy Award? Like, New York Times is all, like, real stuff? That, this, that's the Mariella ending we just did. Los Angeles Times. All right, out of the memory zone. Maybe this isn't Elden Ring. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Like, it definitely gave me that vibe, like, with the church and all these mountains and stuff. This is... We got music. I hope it's not copyright. But okay. Oh my god. We can, like, take a seat on this bench. Oh, we can't really. But we got the mount. This is literally more outside than the actual ending. Like, you know, the Stanley was happy shenanigans, right? This is more outside. See, I already had enough outside today. I was outside way too long that my allergies are through the roof as well. But we're even more outside. Even more outside than the Stanley Parables are actual original ending. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. got like a shrine like in here. Like triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. What the hell is Destructoid.com? Sterling writes, and I quote... Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every, every game, game ever, ever created. created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. I'm starting it to was feel like the Ultra Deluxe Edition is ever more meant to praise the Skyrim. actual Stanley Parable. It was Parable. Persona 3. It was all of them. And now... It's nothing. Nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just Why not? a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. I mean, there's also that elevator in the boss's office, which we saw last time. I don't know if he's alluding to that in any way, but who knows. Okay, back in this uh, memory lane style thing... You are playing the Stanley Parable. Yes, the door. Yeah. The original remake... Off, on, switch, person of the year. I guess that's Stanley. Uh, I think that's Mariella or Stanley's wife. I haven't done that ending on camera, but if you've seen other gameplays of the Stanley Parable, you might know that ending too. Or you played the Stanley Parable yourself, obviously. The Stanley Parable, Stanley Parable. It's just a nice structure too. I like the structure as well. That's ah, the Red Bull. <laughs> Smiley face up there and everything. Some bike. Preparing snake oil salesman. Don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but okay. Here's another moving passage. This time from Yeah, GameSpot. more reviews. You're just gonna keep praising the, the game. Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games. The Stanley Parable review. Is this literally the quote that he's talking about right here? Rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? Nine out of ten. The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just it, needed to be know. left Maybe. alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. But new content could have been beneficial, though. Like, we don't know. I mean, we saw that new content there. I mean, you know, even if if we have the, the deluxe bathroom, whatever it's called, the executive bathroom and the elevator, and just whatever the heck that was, the jump circle. I mean, it's new content. I mean, mm. <sighs> These were Let's just go down times, here. Stanley. Yeah, but simpler I wouldn't times. give to go back to have it all over again. Just play the original game, Wait, or literally play the original on. endings in this game. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh, another vending machine! What's yes. This? What's down here? <laughs> Why? Why, out of all things, I'm more excited about the vending machine because it reminds me of the freaking vending machine by the weight room at my school. Why do I care? I don't. Oh my god. Oh, what on earth is this? This is super dilapidated oh, no. here. Oh, God, no. Stanley, yeah, what's a the collection hell? of reviews from Steam. From Steam. The online oh, video Steam game reviews. Distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. Yeah. I can't even imagine what's being collected down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well. Steam reviews. Oh, you got whole, like, shipping containers of Steam reviews as well. Caution, eight feet to six feet high. Yeah, this is just trashed. 
Not recommended. Honestly, I could not be. This is a real review. Play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. Unfunny. I'm not trying to be what? Funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I couldn't even I read the whole I could thing. write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights. Philosophical and the lights flickering and the rays. Stick them. Oh my god. For this new. Th th okay. The actual, you know, new content here. Like, you know, all this memory lane stuff. This is actually. <laughs> this is great, honestly. I haven't seen any videos on this. I'm experiencing, like, all this for the first time myself here. But it's like, oh my god. I'm enjoying it here. Now, obviously, according to the narrator's story, this isn't truly new content. You know, this is, like, something that he made here, like, to relive the past, like, with old content. Again, more philosophical stuff with reliving the past and everything. But I'm talking about, you know, from an actual, or, or an actual like, standpoint from a player, though. Like, this actual new content is literally... It's, it's great. It's great. Oh, my God. It's like, the game is, like, so self-aware. That's, that's the best I can explain it. It's like, the game is just self-aware. Is that thunder I'm hearing as well? Ooh, this is a recommended, but it's, I can't read it. And it's upside down too. Is that is that a philosophical, is that a rhetorical choice you have there? To put the thumbs up but upside down? And me not being able to read it? Just to have like negative, I'm, I'm definitely overthinking that, definitely. While the idea, see what this one oh, okay, you're gonna read it. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Yes. Okay, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. I don't know what terse means. I don't know how much okay. fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. I heard a door open. What an awful memory to have to Probably hold is. on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. No, narrator. No, come on. Perhaps no. The Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. No. No, come on. Stanley Parable is a great game. Come on, narrator. Don't let yourself down because of these reviews. In this wasteland of Steam reviews. Don't let yourself down. Like, what? Like, don't even go. We can just reset the game if you want. Go back up to memory lane or whatever. Or just the original freaking game. is Because that's what I literally spent half of the video doing. You know, the original game. So, we can relive the past, actually. We're just kind of choosing not to. Is this like an ocean over here? A lake? Something like that. Can I go down here? Oh yeah, I can. Another bad review. Let's let the narrator What's read this it. One got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, it's going in the oh, water, yes. of course. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it I means you strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the standard. Okay. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I do anything. I never really system. thought that you yes, ca that the narrator button, cared about it. user feedback. <laughs> okay. Can we can we swim in here? No, we can't. Oh, the skip button. And here it is. Go skip ahead button. Okay, I don't think that's I'll what that person had in mind when they said skip button. The second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just Okay, we got a clock right here, so it's right 105 right it's now. So let's see how far to the future this takes me. Delivered. No more listening to me rambling on. Let me actually on, listen on, to him ramble because I, you know what? I feel like he's going to go on and on and on and on and literally just not stop until I press that button. People want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, okay, by I'm becoming bored. it is. 
Humming a tune. Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time. How for long? Me to oh yeah, it was like five minutes. Six, seven. Monologue, full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy rumors. Would I have actually had to sit there for five minutes, years. seven minutes, whatever, course, waiting for him I to go through all believe. that? It was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Can I just? Or <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Yeah. But that's the power of the button. The minute I, appreciate I start the button. to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine Cookie will say. Cookie Nine this. was an <laughs> And whether they'll the edit the probably. rating of their Steam oh, review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well... No, not really. I want to say maybe... Oh, no, it's 2 o'clock! Oh, I didn't realize that. Well, unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Okay, where's the I door? the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it... Can I go around? Wait. How do we get out of here? Probably around. Where did the door go? Wasn't there so, a this door ladder? That led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. Yeah, How that. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't I hear think rain. one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take it. Sufficiently anything. large oh, crack in the wall. That fan? On to can Please I climb step this? Step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear. Oh yeah, I can crouch. Forgot about that. I feel like I do have to utilize crouching at some point. Ram your way through a wall. Is there any possibility? Can I no clip through here? Slam your body into the wall until enough. I think it would be amazing if they actually like mentioned the back rooms or something like that, like you know, in the the new content. That would be great. Work with me here. I. We need a door. We, we need a door yes, time. narrator. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm, I'm going to step away for just a moment. Okay. I'm going to try to find us a door. Find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way. I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip. Button. I won't. Please, 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 do not, I will not. press the skip button. Just wait here. Wait here for me, and don't press the skip button. I won't. Got it? Yes, good. Got I'll it. I'll be right back. Take your time. Okay, it's 11.58 right now. I've been recording for 52 minutes, and honestly, I don't think I'm even going to edit this video. Just because this new content, it doesn't need to be edited down. You know, this is like one of those games where just having an unedited video is actually really nice. Because you get to really hear all the dialogue and stuff. Like, obviously, the developers put a ton of work and effort into the dialogue here. So, you know, it's not something that I really want to edit out. You probably want to use the skip button on me right now, but guess what? You know, it's a YouTube video. Just, just, just skip a little bit on the timeline. But anyway... Since it's 10.58 p.m. right now, and I have school tomorrow, I kind of should probably try to get to bed, because I usually try to sleep at 11 o'clock, or at least, you know, I try to go to bed at 11 o'clock on school days. So, yeah, I think I'm actually going to stop recording for now, but this is just, like, so much, like, you know, in-depth and detail and stuff, like, into this new content... I don't want to just end the video here abruptly, I want to keep going. So maybe tomorrow after school, maybe I can actually continue because I want to continue. I want to at least get to some sort of ending. I, you know, I probably should press the skip button, but you know, there probably is going to be some consequence or something. But you know what? We'll find out after school tomorrow, whenever the heck I get a chance to finish recording this video right here. So realistically, you're not even listening to me right now because you probably skipped. You probably did. I'm like the narrator right now, right? I didn't listen to those hour and ten minutes of him, right? So you're probably not listening to this right now. So, I'll see you the next time I record, which will be in this episode. So, with the power of editing, I will see you later. All right, hey, we're back. It's a day later, and I'm back with coffee after school. Well, kind of after after school. It's 5.38 p.m. right now, but nonetheless, we are back. So we are literally right where we left off. I booted up the game again, and I got back to this point. 
I actually spawned in into the new content like already. I didn't have to do three endings to like get to the new content or anything. I spawned into the office and then that room like with the vent was already there. So I just needed to go through like the whole memory thing again. And now we're back here with the skip button. I already pressed the skip button a few times. Literally what we just did, what you just saw in the video is what I did right now. So now we're at a point where the narrator is attempting to locate a door, but it really seems like he's doing nothing right now. And honestly, I don't see any door or anything right here that possibly could lead us out of this room. Now, of course, in the Stanley Parable, generally, we always like to not follow what the narrator says. And the narrator says to not push the skip button, but nothing's happening. So I feel like it's kind of my obligation to push the skip button. You know what I mean? So let's, pr let's push the skip button. The narrator said don't, but who cares? Stanley, Stanley, yeah? Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's 12 hours. 12 hours. Oh, of course. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting yeah, that's longer. Yeah, problem. Oh, my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Yep, I've I can tell. From every angle, I've checked every one of those. Yeah, me a too. Thousand times, and there's literally no nothing here. Why well, didn't check a thousand there's times? No but obviously, problem. nothing's there. It's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea. I'll keep pressing it. I'll keep no pressing it. How long I'll be made to sit here? And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. Remove it. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it, and I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? There's nothing to do in here. I'm thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you. Otherwise. You spent these 12 hours looking for a door, and you and found it's all nothing. Of those reviews, those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no yeah, who cares idea about Cookie Nine? who they are. Well, Cookie Nine, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I don't know why the hell you would be, but hey, Cookie Nine. Every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me, the merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child. Yeah, I'm skipping. Wild and... Oh, Stanley, you're back. I'm back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone. Why is it so dark in here? Why is that the only Stanley, light on? I think it's been a week. A week. Or two weeks. Oh, jeez. sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. This and tree's dead. That's just oh, how geez. it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Can't say anything. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Am Does I just going to keep pressing the button? already been doing. Me just talking. But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Okay. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words okay. were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. You need the vessel, the okay. Not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. Okay. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words yes. that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear I me. I can hear you. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then yes, maybe... Yes, with the philosophy, you're I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. No, you're not. Was I scared of that all along? Probably. Perhaps. Yeah, because you you want validation. That's the thing. Like when I did that ending where like I did not follow all his directions for like the whole time. He just gets like so mad at me. I can't lose myself in the stretch of empty. Because he acts like I'm not listening to him, like I can't hear him and he kinda starts going crazy there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the I'm pressing it. My reality. Oh, hello. It's you. Hello. You're here again. Welcome. All the lights I are off. I've had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. How long has I it been? Keeping track after a year. After a year. I sat down in one place and not move for one entire year. Let me describe uh, no. it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunity. I'm about to press it again. <laughs> Nothing at all but regret 
for the longest time. At least I can actually see in here, though. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever I'm experienced. I'm sorry. He's not there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we messed up. Oh. He's just not here. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, maybe I should have let him keep going there. I can press it again, though. Oh, oh. What the heck is that? Is that the smoke detector? Did I hear something slide open? Could that be a door, maybe? No. Gotta press it again. But they didn't understand oh. the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to Why speak are you back to, the to rambling? Condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed. This is so weird. I, I mean, at this point, I'm probably in like 2050 or maybe even 2100. Who the heck knows? Oh, I heard the button slid open. That's what it was. All right. Press it again. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Ah, he's quoting the loading screen. Never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is I'm just going to press on it. going to keep pressing it. Not here. Oh, what the heck? Is that leaking? Yeah, this is all leaking up here now. Wait, is this gonna get flooded, maybe? And then that's gonna call it's gonna like bust down the wall or something? I don't know, maybe. That would be amazing if something like that happened. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Okay, it didn't necessarily bust down the wall, but that flooding definitely caused some damage. Not flooding, but like leaking. Okay, but I can't... Can I get up? If I can climb this wall... Oh, I can't really. Can, I can't climb that. Alright, let's just see what happens. Oh, it's daylight. Okay. Can I get out now? Still not really. I still I can't jump either. And press the button again. Oh, vegetation is here now. That's great. Now can I go up? Can I like climb a vine or something? Honestly. Can I go up? Anything? Back to the button. What the heck? Back to this? I feel like this is just like warping me through time. It's like not even, like back and forth, not just forward. Okay, the sound effects are getting more eerie. That's, that's the only difference here, is what it looks like. It's gonna turn into a horror game? Oh, finally! Jeez. What the heck? This room is just in in nothing now. Bro, we could be thousands of years into the future here. What the heck? The music as well. Bro, I was not expecting this. Literally, I didn't know what I was expecting, but not this. I guess I'm just gonna keep walking. I mean, what is there to do? The narrator's not here anymore. We're in this wasteland. I mean, less of a wasteland than the Steam reviews, that's for sure. This is just nothing. Should I go back for the button? I don't know. Oh, it's black? Was that, was that the ending? Okay. <laughs> that was the, that was the whole ending there? 
So that's the new content, I guess. But I mean, there are different options as well. Like I, I could go instead of in the vent, like I could keep going up. But now we're back like in the main office. Here, I wonder, like, All is the these going. lights are off too? What could it mean? Were these lights off Stanley off before? I don't meeting. know. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I just want to check if that new content door is still there. Oh, 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 they put up a flashy neon sign as well. New, new content. Oh my god. I don't have the time. I don't want this video to be, like, that long. So, I don't know if I should go for new, new content. We got that ending. Like, you know, the first true, like, new content ending. And this video is probably already over an hour. Probably, like, an hour and five minutes-ish. I mean, I've been recording for ten minutes and 59, 11 minutes now. So, but, you know, I recorded yesterday as well. New, new content. Should we go? I don't know. Oh, good. You noticed my son. I did. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Yeah, but I gotta end the episode. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. Okay, I'm probably not gonna play the Stanley Parable next week because I don't want to do, like, too much Stanley Parable. But, you know, I might in, you know, maybe a couple of weeks from now. Like, if you're interested in seeing it as well. Like, you know, it depends on the demand as well. But I definitely want to see it myself. I want to see these new endings as well. But I've just been recording, I mean, not in this sitting for so long, but just in general, this video is so long. And once again, you probably want to use a skip button on me right now because of how much useless rambling I'm doing. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to end this video here. Maybe in a few weeks from now, I'll play the Stanley Parable. But next week, what I want to do is play Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Ideally, that's what I want to do, and probably that's what I will do. So the next episode of the Stanley Parable will probably come out within the next few weeks because I definitely want to keep exploring this new content here. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.